Hi Aries, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot with your love reading for January 2018. Happy New Year. Uh, so if you'd like to get a special personal reading from me, please visit my website moonpietarot.com. Um, I do have uh, two special readings going, the 2018 Year Ahead reading and how they feel about you reading. And you can also follow me on Instagram for weekly general readings at Moon Pie Tarot or download the Instant Go app from your iPhone app store. You can call me on the app from 4 to 8 p.m. Eastern time for instant readings or you can chat or text me to get quick answers. Okay, Aries, so let's get started. Your reading is for, this is for Aries Sun Moon Rising and can also be for Venus. So the overall energy for the month of January 2018, you have the Nine of Swords. So this is basically, you're dealing with, there's going to be some, a little bit of anxiety in the month of uh, January. You may have had, maybe, I can't remember off the top of my head, your reading for last month for December, um, but I feel like this, there's going to be maybe a feeling of maybe some guilt or um, maybe a little bit of despair and I know this isn't anything you want to hear but there is a bright side to this reading so let's just get through this card here there could be just this feeling of feeling paralyzed by fear and doubt or unable to move forward um, and so I feel like you're questioning something about someone maybe a water sign you have the knight of cups here or someone that could be you know this could be the energy of someone it could be a cancer uh, for some of you but it, just the energy of someone who kind of sweeps you off your feet with their words and and says things but doesn't you know knights just kind of they come in <clears throat> excuse me they come in and they and they go out they're, they're they don't have that stay put quality and with the chariot card here this is also like a movement card so it could be someone that you could have dealt with in the past or could be dealing with in january who just kind of you know maybe someone comes to see you or travels in to see you they're just kind of like in and out and i feel like it's something that could just really stress you out a bit or make you feel you know like what's the deal what's going on so your past position you have the full card here so there may have been a risk that you took or a desire to just you know take take a chance um and just jump in so you may have done something in the past with another person or in a situation where you just threw your cares to the wind you wanted to have a new beginning so maybe you just took a step with really not thinking about consequences or where you might end up or where you might land. And that now is bringing you to temperance where now you're trying to maybe pick up the pieces and balance things out either in this relationship or just in your life in general. Um, the temperance card, you know, I, when you look at this card, you can see well, maybe you can't see, but she's pouring water from a cup into a cup of fire. And it's not so much to put the fire out, but to create, can we see it? This rainbow of hope and happiness and everything that rainbows represent. So I feel like in the beginning of January, this is really now maybe you're trying to get your footing again in regard to something you may have done maybe you got into or maybe you got together with someone hoping that maybe it would turn into into something more of a committed relationship of some sort but for some reason well because you didn't really you took a chance but it i don't feel like it it really from maybe the last few months or what have you however long I don't feel like it really gave you a sense of stability or an idea that uh, there was a lack of security or knowing 
if it was going to turn into anything or something that you took a chance with with someone that you are already involved with that was a cautious chance it was a risk and now you're trying to maintain your sense of balance and what's crossing you is the two of swords so this is a card about seeing that this is like a stalemate situation like it's just not going anywhere or it's not budging okay and it's like you're you're having difficulty accepting that maybe or that things haven't changed or, or that you took a risk to do something with someone and nothing changed and now with the ten of wands here this feeling of what's driving you is feeling overburdened now and not sure like you maybe it was too much the the trying to have a new beginning with someone or trying to get something started just now it's stress you know with the nine of swords causing a little bit of stress for you and the ten of wands feeling like you're carrying the weight of everything now and i do feel like you were dealing with with this knight of wands could have also been a fire sign but someone who just you know had this lustful passionate energy sometimes the knight of wands can be someone who's just all about sex or just that passion or having fun and just rushing in and rushing out so some of you may have had someone like that in your life that you perhaps really liked or you felt like you really connected with and that person just didn't you know they burden you they put they put too much they put too much on you they requested too much from you or they expected too much from you and they weren't willing to stick around or to give you more and give you what you need and so you know if you took a risk with someone hoping that it would go in a certain direction um try not to feel you know regretful or bitter about that you know, because sometimes, you know, you're human and and sometimes that's what you have to do. Not every single thing, not every chance that's taken works out. And so I see you here really just trying to balance yourself now, get your grounding, balance your emotions, balance your, your physical self. Maybe some of you, have, you know, decided to take up exercise routine for the new year um, to try to, you know, stave off that excess energy that you're feeling. And that could also be your energy with the Knight of Wands where you just, you know, you get on your horse and now something didn't work out. And now you have to just go, go, go. OK, so the good news and and. I feel this is really important for you to know here the near future you have the ace of cups here so I feel like when I clarified it with the moon <clears throat> I feel like there's an opportunity for a new beginning to happen okay and with the moon card it's like this feeling of you're you're you have like this like you're uh, you may start seeing signs of some type of a new beginning with love now i don't feel honestly that it's going to be with the person that you took a risk with i feel that this is almost like the sun coming up for you in the near future again even though it's the moon card because after the moon comes the sun so i feel like you're in this you'll be in this place where you'll start to begin to see light again in your love life even if it's someone that you've been dealing with that you wanted to try to make things change or try to improve the situation or or you took a risk to do something with this person hoping that that would make something better um i feel like I, I don't feel like that person is really changing anything right during this time frame during this month but I feel like for you you're really getting in touch with your intuition your you know I see you saying to yourself you know what I'm not going to stress myself out of this I'm, I'm going to keep moving forward and doing the things that I need to do for myself I see you doing that and getting back that 
hope and that opportunity to have new love again it's almost like you you're there will be symbols or light will be shed about um love will be coming back your way right so in regard to the a particular person you know the eight of swords is here i feel like whoever you were dealing with really put you in this uh, or or you allowed yourself to be put in this blinded uh spot where you all you could all you could think about was how they affected you mentally i feel like this person kind of took a toll on you res made you feel restricted um maybe with your feelings your emotions or made you feel helpless or vulnerable not made you but that you allowed yourself to feel that way with this person and and feeling like you you were held captive uh in this connection with this person um but the thing is it's like i said even though it looks like these birds are holding her captive, it's actually she's holding herself captive, okay? Um, because she could easily just get herself out of those those ribbons. They're not they're not chains, you know. So I f I do feel like, and also here, she's. She, there's a gap there that she could just walk right through you know her her legs are not bound she can still walk so I see you kind of like that's what the moon card beginning to see that you know you don't have to be allow yourself to be a victim or feel regretful um, because you tried your best and you did the best that you could with a particular person but they just probably weren't on the same page as you and so the four of cups is here in your advice and this is telling you to now just speak of indifference toward this person you know as if they're just you don't care they're not someone that's going to allow you to continue to feel this way okay so i feel like it's really important that also see that there will be other love offers coming in for you with the four of cups sometimes i you know because someone in the one of the other decks it's someone's offering a cup of love but the person sitting there is not accepting it so i feel like you're going to uh, or at least the advice for you is to not rush back into anything with a particular person if they come charging back in again which they could be um, because of the knight of cups they could be coming back and trying to win you over or you know say things to you or they could be trying to make plans to come see you or get together again and they could be you know charming you in a way to try to get back into your good graces and i don't feel like you have this anger energy or anything like that it's just i feel like you're you're starting to light is starting to be shed and you're starting to see that you know you deserve to have new good beautiful wonderful love and a new beginning you know even if it's with that person you're beginning to see that you you're not going to allow yourself to be restricted or edited in how you feel you know you're going to come out of this and say you know if you're offering you know your cup of love to me but it's not genuine or authentic and it doesn't fit what you want um, you could wind up just denying it and saying i'm sorry but you know you come in and out like this one day you're calling the next day you're not one day you're texting the next day you're not some days you're you know and it's and some of you may feel like you're dealing with someone who's only valuing you at their own convenience and i see you actually even though you don't have the strength card here gaining your strength again and with the chariot perhaps just moving on you know this person whomever you're dealing with i feel like this is someone who 
you know, with the Three of Cups, they're party person, party girl, party boy. This is someone who just likes to to um, indulge, have fun, uh, crazy dating all the time. Like they don't ever get serious with any one person, or they just don't they just don't go down that road. Um, at least they're not with you. They could be just out socializing a lot and having fun, which there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're in this place in your life where you want something more stable and more committed with a particular person, I don't see them being in that place. So that doesn't necessarily mean that they're, a, they're it's their fault. It just means you have to be accountable for yourself and what you want and say, you know, you're great. I have feelings for you, blah, 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 whatever. But telling yourself and, and really assessing it logically, is this going to work for me? You know, the page of swords here, I feel like, you know, this person could be communicating with you during this time and maybe say some swift harsh things to you there could be texting or, or messages or phone calls or things like that where there's maybe some truth coming out and they could they could tell you you know well we're not you know we're not in a serious relationship I'm dating other people and that could feel a little hurtful for you um, because they might be mixing it with all of this ooey gooey mushy love stuff and then but not willing to go anywhere with it. So it, it probably confuses you a little bit. And so I feel like there will be some communication from this person. And maybe it, it might have to do with this three of swords here. Because I kind of feel like, you know, you're Aries and you're always victorious. Um, you have a victorious mindset that, you know, yes, you may have lost the battle, but you do not lose wars. And your attitude is always in this victory mindset where you will continue moving forward. Um, you might feel a little down or there may be this energy of, you know, well, this person isn't taking care of you the way you, you want them to. Um, and that might make you feel a little less valuable or a little less down, but I think you're starting to see the light during this time. And I see your outset, you have the three of swords. So I just see a, a separation in communication I don't necessarily feel like this is completely ending the situation but I see you maybe going into this phase of not talking to them anymore or, or not dealing with them anymore because of this this ten of swords of feeling like they either betrayed you or that you know they they say all the right things all the time but then they just don't back it up you know, and you with the Ace of Swords here, you have all the swords, Three of Swords, Ten of Swords, Ace of Swords, you gaining clarity and staying truthful and being honest with yourself and other people in matters of the heart and what it is that you're looking for. You're not being mean or harsh or anything like that because the Ace of Swords is always about, it's always a truth card. It's always a clarity card and probably telling this person, you know, um, using your intellect and not your emotions to make the decision to not contact them anymore. Okay. This card can also be about resolving situations and overcoming obstacles. So it may just be uh, a conversation that you could have with someone that you don't feel like this is right for you, or you don't feel like it's going to work out for you because you feel like this person uh, doesn't stick with what they say they're going to do or they don't follow through with things and it it leaves you feeling betrayed and you might tell them you know this is not what you like and you want to try to either overcome the situation and make it work or you're done okay so I kind of feel like that's what your energy is that's what's happening for you uh, I don't see you and then this person could turn around and actually come in and start offering something, um, uh, offering their love in some way, okay, to try to make the make it better. So I kind of see there's like this, you coming to the truth about what it is that you want in your love life and 
So there's a little bit of, heart, there's a little, there's truth telling energy, there's a little bit of softness, it's all kind of mixed in. And I feel like the advice really is for you to um, employ that energy where you're firm with the other person. If you have to tell them, you know, you can't, I'm not a revolving door here, you just can't keep coming in and out of my life. Uh, or you just can't keep uh, doing things that's only convenient for you without the, um, the courtesy of how uh, I feel that those could be your words that could be that conversation you know so I just see you really standing up for yourself in January I don't like I said I, I don't necessarily feel like it's going to be a complete break um, I don't ever really get that energy from the three of swords it's a complete break I just feel like it's it's kind of like you know it's a it is a lack of con communication or it's just communication about not talking or communic it's just communication um because i think if the four of swords would hear was here that would be more like that's a break where there's complete not even communicating whatsoever this is just like a discussion about it that's how i feel about this situation so you may need to just seriously stand up for yourself during this time and 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 take off those bands and walk through that gap of swords and get yourself out of there because i feel like the situation as i was saying here is has really keeping you trapped or making you feel trapped I'm very sorry about the blur. I, I don't know why my camera is doing it again today. Um, but I am going to end your reading here. I know it wasn't the, the greatest, um, <laughs> but it wasn't the worst because it is really about taking your power back for you and being true to yourself. Um, you really don't have to wait for another person to make a decision about your life. It's your life. And if you don't like the way something is going, I always love that phrase someone said, and you know me with my analogies, I can never remember, it says, if you don't like something, change it. If you don't like where you are, move. You're not a tree. You're not rooted or grounded in something. Now, I know some of you may be married and dealing with situations like that, um, and I'm not telling you to get a divorce, and I don't necessarily see that here, but I am, but I am seeing you taking a stand for yourself and and if and if anyone can do right by themselves it's Aries because Aries is very just goes for it they they know what they need they know what to need need to do and especially if you're feeling this way you're not you're not going to be here for long I feel like you're going to address address the issue that needs to be addressed in the proper way and then you know maybe coming into February maybe things will resolve even better so let me know if this reading resonates for you or leave comments I know you guys always leave comments and it's great and I read all of them I don't get a chance often to respond um, but I do read them and I do appreciate them so much and thank you for liking and subscribing and I will see you guys next month